More high-profile commitments coming to you right here on HQ. In just moments, Jacksonville, Florida product Trayon Webb will make it official. The four-star product comes in as a top 10 prospect in the state of Florida and a top 50 talent in the country in the class of 2023. From Trinity Christian Academy to one of the top programs in the nation, we will find out where he's headed right now. All right, here's a look at Trayon's profile, four-star with uh, interest from coast to coast, a six foot, 188 pound athlete that can be uh, utilized in many different facets of the game. As we said, ninth in the state of Florida, fourth amongst athletes, 46th nationally. We're joined now by four-star athlete Trayon Webb. Uh, Trayon, thank you for joining us here on HQ to make your commitment. Before we make it official, tell us a little bit about what this recruiting process has been like for you personally. Um, the process has been very long. Uh, I've been really playing varsity since like eighth grade, so I've been getting noticed like for like a couple years now, and it's been a very, very long process. But I'm ready to get over it, to well, be honest. It is a uh, moment that you have worked tirelessly for. I imagine some emotions working through you right now. What sort of emotions are you and the family feeling right about now? I'm a little anxious. Uh, it's a lot of people here, so I'm a little anxious. I'm ready to get over it. All right, I hate to do it to you, man, because it sounds like you're ready right now, but you got to sit tight for just a minute. We're going to be back with you for your official commitment on the other side. All right, here's a look at the 2023 athlete ranking composite courtesy of our friends at 24-7 Sports. There he is, Trayon Webb out of Trinity Christian Academy in Florida, fourth ranked athlete overall. And when you're talking about taking those talents to the next level, nothing more does a coach love than the ability to put that talent anywhere and everywhere on the field. Joining us now to set the stage, our 24-7 team, Steve Wiltfong and Andrew Ivins. Gentlemen, Trayon Webb set to make his commitment here on HQ in just moments. Steve, introduce us to this versatile talent. Yeah, well, when I think about the most coveted running backs early on in the 2023 class, Trayon Webb is one of four with Richard Young, Justice Haynes, and Reuben Owens out of Texas. So this is a young man that the, the Blue Bloods, the, the, the teams competing for a national championship, He's one of the guys that all of them are coveted. He, he's, he's down to Ohio State, Georgia, and Oklahoma. And, and uh, he's been playing varsity football since the eighth grade. So one of the first prospects in this class to emerge. Over 40 scholarship offers. You turn on the film and you see the balance, the vision, the after contact ability. And then you go back to his track season, his freshman year, and he ran 11-2 in the 100-meter dash. So you know he has home run speed. He's an exciting combination right there. Just to follow up with what Steve's saying, you know, Trayon's a kid who played as an eighth grader really at a talented Jacksonville Trinity Christian program. I mean, this is a program that has sent a few different guys to the NFL. We talk about him playing on both sides of the ball. You know, some schools think maybe potentially defensive back, but it seems like uh, these three schools, Ohio State, uh, Oklahoma and Georgia, they all like him uh, at running back. And, and I can definitely see it there. You know, he missed most of his freshman season after he broke his arm on a kick return, but he rebounded and put together a nice junior year, averaged over six yards a carry for a team that won a state title in Jacksonville Trinity Christian. He told me earlier this week, hey, he's finally healthy. He's expecting a big junior season. So I think someone's getting a, a talented player uh, and someone with some good bloodlines. Grandfather played at Florida State uh, and he's got a cousin that played at Florida and in the NFL as well. All right, thank you gentlemen. We're gonna check back in in just a bit. And hey, don't move a muscle. On the other side, that man right there will make one fan base's day. The future is now and commitments are coming right here on CBS Sports HQ. Trayon Webb is one of the first recruits in the 2023 class I've even heard of. Played varsity football in eighth grade at Jacksonville Trinity Christian Academy, a division one factory for recruits year in and year out. I love this dude's tape, man. You see he does it all. He's a complete back. He's very explosive out of the backfield, can also make big time plays. And when you look at his final three, it includes Oklahoma, Ohio State, and Georgia. Now I'm not 100% sure what school he's gonna pick, but I can guarantee you this, whatever school Trayon Webb goes to, he's going to have a chance to make an instant impact as a true freshman. 
time to do with all away with all the speculation back on CBS Sports HQ with four star athlete Trayon Webb. Trayon, the stage is yours without further ado. Where will you put, be playing your college ball? Um, first off, I'd like to thank God for blessing me with the ability to play the game I love. Uh, my coaches, teammates, mentors for just pushing me to be, for to be the best on and off the field. Uh, thank my teachers for helping me excel in the classroom and most importantly my family uh, they, they get all the credit because they've been helping me and just keeping me level-headed uh, I'm best to have two moms in my life so my stepmom and my mom uh, thank you for them uh, my uncles my grandma my godmother everybody and last but not least my dad uh, without him I wouldn't be here today so uh, thank him for everything but with that being said, for the next four to five years of college, I'll be attending the Oklahoma University. There it is, Boomer Sooner indeed. Whole bunch of fans there smiling in Norman right now, Trayon. What about Coach Riley's program made OU the place for you? Um, Coach Riley, he's a great offensive-minded coach. Uh, me and him can do big things in the offense. And Coach Murray, he played in the NFL. He played in college, so he can relate to me. And it just it all made sense. Well, you are joining a program that is primed to take a run at some titles. We've had a few Oklahoma commits come down here on HQ. It's all, always a warm reception from that fan base. So with that said, you got the eyes and the ears of Sooner Nation right now. What do you want to say to them? Boomer Sooner. And it's as simple as that. My man is coming to town to make some noise. Trayon, congratulations from all of us here at CBS Sports HQ. All right, so the party is on in Norman. Taking a look at Trayon Webb, who's taking his talents to OU. Boomer Sooner getting some talent that could be dispatched on either side of the ball, but you heard our experts say likely to be a running back type there at Oklahoma. Again, a commitment in the class of 2023, so still plenty of time before he gets on campus and starts making his mark, but it is a top-tier talent headed to Lincoln Riley's program. Back in the mix with Instant Reaction, our 24-7 sports team, Steve Wiltfong and Andrew Ivins. Gentlemen, Trayon Webb making it official moments ago. He'll be tanking his talents to Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, Steve, your initial reaction is what? Well, a heck of a start to the 2023 recruiting class for Lincoln Riley and the Oklahoma Sooners. They get their franchise running back in the fold in Trayon Webb, one of the more sought-after players in the country at the position, beating Ohio State and Georgia for him. I talked to Trayon Webb about his decision, and he says he feels really good about the number one receiver in the country, also from Florida, Brandon Ennis, joining him in Norman. Tomorrow on CBS Sports HQ, we have five-star quarterback Malachi Nelson announcing his college decision, and Oklahoma is the favorite on the 24-7 sports crystal ball. So if they can get that franchise quarterback and franchise receiver to go with Trayon Webb, they're really off and running, and Oklahoma's got the number five class in 2022. Webb has them starting fast here in 2023, and it was the visit to the Champion Barbecue that sealed the deal. He said he got a deja vu feeling talking to Adrian Peterson and CeeDee Lamb, who were there uh, also helping recruit, but just enjoying time at their alma mater. He saw how much they loved it, and he said he felt at home too. And last thing, nobody recruited him better or harder than Oklahoma. Two major Zooms that really impressed the family. An academic Zoom where the dad tried to throw him off the academic path and ask him football questions. They answer, they put it back to academics, and then the football Zoom blew him away. Oklahoma had everything Trayon Webb was looking for, and he's everything they're looking for at the position in 2023. Uh, Andrew, I you're, just you're, up with, yeah, go ahead. With, with Steve said here, 
Uh, how about Lincoln Riley getting involved in the Sunshine State? Look, over the past few years, we have seen Alabama, Georgia, they've raided the Sunshine State. Now we're seeing Boomer Sooner kind of come into these top high schools and start landing some of these kids. Steve mentioned Brandon Ennis in the 2023 cycle. That's out right down the road for me. Uh, you know, what about what they're trying to do in the class of 2022? Gabriel Brownlow Denley, a five star defensive tackle from Lakeland. Oklahoma seems to be in a good spot there. Kenyatta Jackson, an edge rusher from South Florida, they're in a good spot there so we're going to see it this fall uh you know two of oklahoma's top defenders Jaden davis uh nick bonito both those guys called the sunshine state home uh and it seems like they're kind of tapping in and getting these good guys so i think it's uh, an impressive take for oklahoma an impressive win you know georgia once held the commitment from trey on web ohio state was in there and really this is one of the first real running back dominoes to fall so kudos to lincoln riley and his staff now they got to hold on to him again web a 2023 product and you talk about holding on to him uh, making him feel that love as we move on closer to that 2023 date but andrew as you take a look at the grand scheme of things as that class of 2023 starts to come into focus with one uh, commitment here another there how big of a domino is this in the grand scheme of things when you're ranking these schools and their classes down the road oh there's a there's a saying on the uh seven on seven in camp circuit all the kids will tell you ballers want to play with ballers so uh, we live in an era of social media everyone knows everything instantly i'm sure a ton of other top 2023 20, recruits i've already seen on instagram or they're, or they're watching this CBS uh, Sports HQ broadcast and look, they're like, hey man, Trayon Webb's going to Normal in Oklahoma. Why, you know, maybe I should follow them. Let's say Oklahoma gets uh, Malachi Nelson into the fold and man, they got the, the ball rolling because the goal is to win national titles. And I think kids want to play with other good kids. So I think this will definitely kind of kick things off for Oklahoma in that class of 2023. With the way that Coach Riley's recruiting, he's obviously very hungry. He's not content with just going to the college football playoff and winning Big 12 championships. I think when you look at the Sooners' top 10 class a cycle ago, that was the best defensive haul that they've signed under Lincoln Riley. And that's coming off the heels of Alex Grinch taking over defense a couple years ago that ranked in the hundreds, and they ranked in the top 30 last year. So they've made tremendous strides on that side of the ball. And then when you bring it full circle to this commitment today, they continue to land difference makers on offense. But Oklahoma recruiting on the other side of the ball at a tremendous level. And if they can land guys like Gabriel Brownlow, Dindy, and Kenyatta Jackson, who Andrew just mentioned that they continue to add pieces that maybe get them over the hump and knock off one of those SEC programs in a semifinal or championship ball game. Steve, Andrew, great stuff. As always, we appreciate your insights here on CBS Sports HQ. And don't forget, there's only one place for all your latest recruiting news and notes. Nobody does it better than our team at 24 seven sports. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.